Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you along to Kaka National Park in Sadara, Croatia. After the bus drop us off, here we are walking away to the National Park. The park covers almost 20,000 acres and is known for its ca cascading waterfall and crystallized water. This is not an included tour through Viking, but rather a paid shore excursion. It takes about almost seven hours tour, but it's well worth it. It's a long trip walking up to um, the waterfall, a lot of cobblestone, minimal handrails, Hiking up there, it's very strenuous. Not really recommended for people that um, have any physical disability because it's a lot of walk. Along the way, you'll see different outlook area where you can take the pictures. The closer you are to the waterfall, the more excited I am to actually view the beauty of this national park. There is a lot of walking to actually reach the waterfall itself. Once you're there, the view of the waterfall was just amazing. This is the best view of the waterfall that I ever encounter. walk around the whole park we simply follow the boardwalk if you just follow the boardwalk you'll never get lost in the park because the boardwalk um, goes circling around the park and take you straight out to parking lot and the park also has the restaurant where you can buy food and eat it at the picnic table but just be aware it's crowded it's very touristy area Souvenir shop is also available, but it was closed that day then we were there. By the end of the day, we were ready to head out, follow the boardwalk, meet our tour guide by the bus. Lunch is also included with this, tour, um, this shore excursion. After the National Park, our tour guide took us to the local restaurant where we have the local food was made for us. When we get there, the restaurant was already ready um, for us. All the tables were set up. All the food were made by the local. And the restaurant is also not too far from where the park is. And here we are. What we have for lunch is all included, which is you know, European prosciutto cheese plate and um, all the wine is complimentary as well as white wine. We also have some salad, which I don't care for. It's pretty much just lettuce, shredded cabbage, tomatoes, and there's no dressing. I guess all the European, what they have is just simple vinaigrette and olive oil, salt and pepper. And we also have some grilled chicken some, and um, some roast vegetables, which it was just okay. But if you're starving, you just eat whatever is given to you for that day. And also the dessert was including it. I enjoy more complimentary wine that comes with it than the lunch itself. After our lunch, it's time to head back into town, which a tour guide has shown us around the town right next to the port, which is really nothing there. The town itself is quite small, really not much to see. Walk around the city with a tour guide as she explained different buildings to us. 
which I kind of thought was kind of boring, but it's part of the tour, so we went along with it. After a while, walking around, few restaurants, few souvenir shops, and then it was time for us to head back to the cruise ship, which I was happy to do so. At that time, I was tired. It's later into the day, and there's not much else going on. On our way back to the cruise ship, more people are enjoying seeing the sea organs and hear the music by the cruise ship than anything else. I'm going to end my video here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks, Q, for coming along, as always. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.